Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey again, and in this lesson, I want to implement some wall jumping for our player. Right now, we have the double jump down, but if we get stuck in a crevice or something, we can't really have our player jump out, depending on where we have our ledges. Now, there's two types of wall jumps that we're going to be looking at. The first one is just basically scaling the wall, so I could just hit space and go all the way up. And the second one is if we're on the wall, we'll have a little bit of force to push us in the opposite direction. So we can go kind of up in a, in a half circle. So the first one let's implement is just a straight wall scale. In the object player and in the step event, in the horizontal movement, right here where we're checking to see if the player is going to hit a object block, we set the horizontal speed to zero and we know that we are against a wall. So here is the perfect opportunity to have our jump code. So I'll just create a little comment called jump code and all we really need to do is we need to check to see if the player is pressing the jump key. So we can do that with keyboard check pressed, key underscore jump. And if they are pressing the jump key, we have two options here. The first option, let's just use the script that we made which is scr player jump however if we run this you'll notice we have a small issue when we go against the wall and we press space and then we press space again and again we don't get that third jump as expected we only get our double jumps and the reason because of that we set the current jump way outside of this loop so our current jump is set to two and then our first jump takes away one then our second jump takes away the other and even though we're on the wall we're not actually um, able to jump afterwards so the quick fix to this is before we jump we set our current jump to equal the maximum number of jumps that we have so if i come back and i play i can scale this wall by holding down the right key without any issues now the second implementation of a wall jump is adding a little bit of force going back so it kind of looks like they're actually, you know, they're being pushed up the wall. Now to do this, we have to create a new system. The system is going to tell us which way our player is facing. So I'm going to edit my player sprite and all I'm going to do is draw a small little triangle here at the start, just so we can see if our player is facing to the left or facing to the right. Now, if I run the game, obviously this system has not, not been implemented, so our player is always going to face to the right, even though I'm moving to the left. To fix this, we're going to create a new variable in our player's, st sorry, player's create event, and in here, we'll just call it facing, and we'll have it as a value of one. We're going to be using two values. We'll have one equals to the right and minus one equals to the left and these will become more apparent in just a second. In the step event there's a couple different places we can do this. We could easily do it in the horizontal input so let's do it there. If the other place we could do it is just really outside all of these if statements. If we go up to a horizontal movement all we need to do is check to see what direction sorry let's check the horizontal speed actually to see which direction we're going we could say if horizontal speed is bigger than zero well we know we are facing to the right else if horizontal speed is less than zero well now that we know we are facing to the left and just like before we're replacing right with the number one and left with minus one now that we've done that, we need to set our image x scale to be facing direction. Sorry. Now we'll have one and minus one. So if I hit play and I move to the right, facing is one, so our player will stay facing the right. And if I hit left, our player is going to look to the left and stay facing left. Now, let's move back to the wall jump code. In here, where we have our wall jump, we check to see if our keyboard has been pressed, and then we move the player up. What I want to do is set the horizontal speed to a little bit of a pushback. 
We could also use something to check to see if we have an initial jump. And if the initial jump is set to true, then we don't apply, sorry, set defaults, then we don't apply the, uh, the force. But let's do this first. We'll say horizontal speed is going to equal a new variable. And let's say jump horizontal force. And let's set it to the max speed times 2.5. And this is just a number that just randomly came in my head, nothing special. So the horizontal speed is going to be equal to the horizontal force. Now right now it's set to 12, I believe. So that will give us a number roughly at 26. And what we need to do is change this based off of the direction that we're going in. Now, so we could say the force times facing and then what we need to also say is times minus one. Now the reason that we're using minus one is because if you remember, facing was one and minus one. So if you take a number such as one and multiply it by minus one, that number becomes minus one. If you take a minus one and multiply it by itself, which is minus one, that number becomes one. So that will give us the opposite direction that we're facing. So if I run the game one more time and I come over to the wall and I jump up and then I hold my right arrow, you'll see we get a little bit of a force and I can continuously just go up the wall just like before without any issues. Now it all depends on what you want your game to do and what wall jump you want to use. I'm going to remove this from my code but I'll leave it in there so you can download it. And that brings us to an end for this lesson. We've implemented two different kinds of wall jumps, and I'm just gonna stick with the normal wall jump here. And we also implemented a new system that would tell us which way our player is facing. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you would really like to, please support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching.